Thanksgiving is when we give God thanks for His favor and kindness. It's easy to be thankful when life is good. But can we be thankful in times of trouble? This was the very question a good king named Jehoshaphat had to face when messengers came to him with terrible news. The concerned messengers stood before the king and told him, Three armies have joined together and declared war on you. Jehoshaphat, you must act now. King Jehoshaphat was terrified. He immediately called the entire nation together to seek God's help through fasting and prayer. Overcome with fear, the people of Jerusalem gathered together at the temple of God. Typically, gatherings such as this would have been a time of rejoicing and celebration, thanking the Lord for all He had done. But with the vast army approaching, what reason did Jehoshaphat and his people have to be thankful? The king lifted his voice in prayer. God of heaven and earth, we are desperate for your help. Please hear our cry and rescue us from this mighty enemy. Every man, woman, and child join Jehoshaphat in this prayer. Suddenly, the Spirit of God came upon a man named Jehaziel. He was standing in the midst of the crowd and boldly spoke, Listen, King Jehoshaphat and all you people, this is what the Lord says. Do not fear, for tomorrow I will fight this enemy for you. Simply stand still and watch as I bring you victory. As Jehaziel spoke, the people were reminded that God had not gone anywhere. He was with them and he heard their cries and he would save them by his unfailing love. King Jehoshaphat was in awe. As he pondered what the Lord had spoken, he was overcome with gratitude. Jehoshaphat fell to his knees and bowed low with his face to the ground. There, before all the people, Jehoshaphat worshiped God from a thankful heart. Everyone in the crowd did the same, following the king's good example. The worship ended with God's priests, called the Levites, standing and then crying out to praise God at the top of their lungs. Early the next morning, King Jehoshaphat's forces marched out to face the enemy. But along the way, the king did something quite unexpected. He appointed singers, dressed in holy robes, to lead his army. With the king's army following them, the singers proclaimed these words, Give thanks to the Lord, His faithful love endures forever. What amazing faith Jehoshaphat had. Even though a mighty army had invaded his land, God's promise of victory was reason enough for the king to give thanks. Jehoshaphat would face this trouble not with sword or shield, but by thanking God for his faithful love. As this song of thanksgiving rose to God, something truly miraculous occurred. God caused the enemy force, which was made up of three different armies, to go to war against each other. The battle was so intense that not one enemy soldier survived. When King Jehoshaphat arrived, he found the entire invading army defeated. God had won the victory just as he promised. In that moment, 
Jehoshaphat learned that God's love is always with us and stronger than any enemy we face. His unfailing love conquers every fear, doubt, and worry. Because of this, we have reason to thank God every day. King Jehoshaphat led a joyful parade of singers and soldiers back to the city. As the good king entered the city, musicians of every kind played in celebration. In the most difficult of times, God demonstrated his unfailing love to Jehoshaphat. Later, he would show the whole world just how great his love is by sending his son, Jesus. God's love never stops, never fails, and never gives up. It rescues us in the darkest of times from the most dangerous of enemies. Because of this, we too can sing the words, Give thanks to the Lord. His faithful love endures forever. <laughs>